In this fully animated lecture, I will teach you a type of chemical bond, known as coordinate, covalent bond. Let me teach you, what is the difference between, covalent bond and, coordinate covalent bond. Imagine two friends, decide to contribute an equal amount of money, to start a coffee shop. For example one friend shared 10,000, and the other also shared 10,000. They both have equal benefits in the business, and share the responsibilities equally. In the same way, atom A shares its one electron, and atom B also shares one electron. This mutual sharing results in a bond, known as covalent bond. In another case, one friend offered to invest all of their savings into the coffee shop, while the other friend does not contribute any money into the business. So a coordinate covalent bond is formed. When only one atom contributes, it's both electrons, while the other atom accepts the electron. I have an example for you. Nitrogen has 5 valence electrons, and needs 3 more electrons to become stable. So nitrogen shares, its 3 electrons with 3 hydrogen atoms, by mutual sharing. And the bond formed, due to mutual sharing of electrons, known as covalent bond. The electrons that pair up to form covalent bond, are known as bond pairs. And the pair of electrons, that do not involve in bonding, known as lone pair of electrons. When a positively charged hydrogen comes along, nitrogen atom donates its lone pair to hydrogen ion. This creates a bond known as coordinate covalent bond. So it is a type of chemical bond in which both electrons comes from same atom. So the nitrogen atom in ammonia is a donor because it donates its electron pair to the empty orbital of hydrogen ion. On the other hand, the H positive ion is an acceptor because it accepts the electron pair from nitrogen. This interaction forms a coordinate bond between nitrogen and hydrogen. The bond is represented with an arrow, pointing towards acceptor, from donor. It results in a positive charge on nitrogen, and the compound formed known as ammonium I. Do you know my dear students, coordinate covalent bond is also known as dative covalent bond. So it is a type of chemical bonding, in which the bond's pair of electrons, is donated by one bonded atom only. Let's look at another example, the formation of a hydronium I. We start with a water molecule. Oxygen has six valence electrons, and it needs two more to complete its octet, so it shares two electrons with hydrogen atoms to become stable. Now the molecule of water has two bond pairs, and two lone pairs of electrons. Imagine a hydrogen I floating around. It's just a proton, so it's missing an electron. The oxygen in the water molecule, being the great atom it offers one of its lone pairs, to the hydrogen ion. So the bond forms between, oxygen and the hydrogen I, known as coordinate covalent bond, and the compound known as, hydronium I. Let me tell you some properties of coordinate covalent compounds. They have lower melting and boiling points than ionic compounds because it is weaker than ionic bonding. Due to their covalent nature, they form solutions in organic solvents and are very less soluble in water. Some of these compounds exhibit isomerism. Sharing of electrons takes place in a definite direction because it is a directional bond with a dipole. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please. Consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.